Walmart, everyone knows them as the world's largest retailer. They reported earnings today. Break those earnings down. Tell us what they tell us about the company and about maybe the economy. Miguel Bastillo is in Houston. Miguel, good morning to you. Good morning. How are you doing there? Uh, listen, what did Walmart do this morning? What did they tell us? Well, uh, just to step back a slight bit, what, what's mm -hmm. going on with Walmart is that um, for uh, about two years, Walmart had uh, bad sales in the United States. It, it was losing market share in the United States. So about uh, uh, about this time a year ago, Walmart began uh, essentially uh, making some changes in its business to try to win back that market share. And uh, what we saw today is that Walmart is winning back that market share, but that it's coming at a cost, namely that it's... Uh, its profits, its profit margins are going down because it is uh, essentially investing in uh, lowering its prices. No, no. I mean, how do they really manage to do that? Because as I understand it, they run with razor thin margins as is. I mean, that's how they manage to offer such low prices and you know, all that blah blah blah. I mean, how do they manage to have even smaller margins? It's a, it's a very good question and one that came up today during their earnings call, as you can imagine. People said, well, how exactly are you going to reduce your cost? Because that's something that Walmart is saying it's going to do. Um, one of the things that they did do over the last few months, which we saw, is that they, they cut their health care benefits. So uh, there are some things that Walmart can still do. And uh, another thing that Walmart um, is doing uh, is that it has cut back on a store remodel plan that it had that was proving very expensive. Uh, you know, again, if you go back a little bit, Walmart was trying to win uh, more middle class shoppers. And one of the ways that they were trying to do that is make its stores a little fancier. Um, didn't really work. So now they're, they're essentially scrapping that. Uh, Miguel, it's Michael Casey here. The, Walmart's something of a, a metaphor for the, you know, the idea of globalizing your supply chain, and in particular, sort of relying on China as a, a key source of, uh, of supplies. Uh, how important is, is trans transformation in China affecting this? Of course, we know about rising wages and, a sort of, and an increasing yuan. Is that a factor here in, in the, the struggle that the company is going through? Uh, I think I mean it, I think that affects uh, Walmart uh, no more or no less than it does a lot of these other large retailers, uh, retailers which with which it competes. Walmart has uh, like like many large retailers, it has suppliers all over the world. In fact, I think Walmart, like many retailers, has begun adjusting to the situation in China and the rising costs there, and, and uh, essentially sourcing a lot of its goods elsewhere. Uh, I really think the big problem with Walmart is domestically. It has had domestic. Uh, challenges uh, regaining or keeping its market share with the dollar stores and other competitors in the United States becoming tougher. In fact, the Walmart's international business has been growing like crazy. Yeah, I, I, what are we, a cameraman just hanging out in Walmart all day? You see how much video we had? A, <laughs> you see, it was like a minute and a half of video. Uh, Miguel, let's, let's talk about Walmart and Home Depot reported earnings also. Their, their net earnings were up, very, they were up a big amount. Uh, but I see sales growth not so much for either of these companies. Is there anything that we can glean about the state of the consumer from these reports this morning? A very good question, and one that we're going to try to address in our story for tomorrow's newspaper. I really think that a lot of these uh, earnings that you're seeing uh, are market share uh, shifts, bigger, uh, mm -hmm. more so than uh, really a, a changing economic signal. Uh, I think what you're seeing is that Walmart is gaining back market share. And likewise, you, you cited Home Depot. I think what you're seeing with Home Depot is that Home Depot is gaining share at the expense of Sears and, and Lowe's and some of its other competitors. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind that you know not too long ago, Home Depot was the second largest retailer in the United States. It, uh, it it kind of slowed down. Its business kind of lost its way a little bit. And, and now that it's getting back on track, um, I think it's inflicting some pain on some people.